Hey guys, so I am just starting the day when it's 3.30. Um, and I realized that I should have picked up the camera sooner because I did a whole lot of organizing in my kitchen. And I'm just going to show you. It's looking amazing. I actually can see my counter. I had to reorganize some cupboards so that I could put away some things like in here. I now have like my baking dishes, my cake pans there, my griddle, and then I was able to fit my instant pot down here, except for I had to take the lid off. As you can see, even without the lid, oops, it barely fits. So I had to put the lid beside it, and there's my crock pot. So before this, the instant pot was just sitting on the counter, and I did not know where to put it. So I had to reorganize some things to make room, and um, same here, I had in this corner, if you remember, if you've seen it on my vlogs, um, I had my blender sitting in that corner. Um, and I was able to find a spot in the cupboards for that, where it's easily accessible when I do use it. And now I just have my coffee maker and my toaster here on the bread and the butter. The butter should be here by the bread, I think. Anyway. And then the ketones were sitting here and I figured it makes more sense for them to sit here because this is where we get access to the water, the cups are over here and all of that jazz. So yeah, I figured it would be best there. I'm going to be sitting down here very soon and working with my planner. Um, so I have that to do. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of cleaning up. It feels good. Actually, like I always feel like I have no energy to do anything. Um, but actually when I just get down to it and do some things, I actually feel more energized and not so tired. So it's actually pretty cool how that works. Oh, I, I haven't showed you. We moved Gunnar's crib actually into our room because I breastfeed him. But... I don't want to sleep with him in our bed though because, I don't know, I just can't relax all the way and sleep good because I'm always worried that he's going to get squished. I've never done it but with any of my babies but I'm always worried a little bit and he's such a good sleeper at night. So we have his crib in here. Um, This is where he sleeps so it doesn't match our furniture at all that we have going on in here but it works. And I have this blanket that I made for him just right here. I sometimes put it over him. So yeah, it, it's looking a lot better in here. So those picture frames still need to be hung. Um, I don't know why it's not been done yet, but anyway. Something on Jacob's to-do list. So yeah. And so now Gunnar's room has become basically our dressing room. I have, we brought the girls dresser from downstairs up because they always want to dress upstairs anyways and it's easier for me. The washer and dryer are right here. I need to fold some laundry, just never mind that. We store his car seat in here when he's not using it. So the girls clothes are in there. Gunnar's clothes that he's going to grow into are in here because the girls don't nearly use it up. Bella uses this drawer and Ramona uses the next drawer. They each only use one drawer, so there's a lot of storage space. And our dresser is in here as well. This is the diaper cake that was made for my baby shower that my friend did for me. And she had, I don't know if I already showed this or not, but she had made like little sock roses in those. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, if I'm just going to toss them or repurpose them. But yeah. Um... Yeah, just this little sweater that was knit for him by a friend. It's absolutely gorgeous. Fits in right now. And some other winter things. Um, yeah. The girls' pajamas, they just kind of lay on the floor here. Till night time when they put them back on. Anyways, the dirty clothes hamper. Yeah, all of this is in here. And it's kind of like our dressing room now. And... I don't know if I'm totally happy yet with how it looks, but it works. It works for now. So it's really nice because all the clothes happen in here. The dirty clothes, washing the clothes, everything I can fold in here. Yeah, it's kind of like our dressing room. 
those are some of the projects that we have been doing of late. Um, also, I really want your guys' input. What kind of videos do you want to see from me? I kind of like to film cleaning videos and stuff like that. I feel like just regular vlogs are a little harder for me. I do enjoy them, but they're a little bit harder for me, I feel like. So, if you guys have any ideas of what you like to see, um, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to know. And coming up here very soon, I'm going to be working on potty training this little girl. And I have an owie. Let's show them I have an owie. Yes, you do have an owie. Yeah, that's why I have a banner dog. And I'll get better. And I'll take it off. That's right. Then I'll, then I'll say, Mommy, it's better! Yeah. <laughs> So all these boxes are here, waiting to, waiting to be taken out when the recycling truck when comes by. Pizza. So it looks really messy. I wish we had a better pizza. spot for that. But that's kind of where it's at for now. So I'm feeling really good with how my kitchen looks now. I feel like I can breathe in here. It feels clean and open and all of that. Mommy, someone let my daddy have a walk. That, that's my daddy's walk. Yes, that is your daddy's walk. Yeah. In case you're wondering what she's talking about, this little rock right here. That's my dad's. Out. That's so, my dad's. Yeah, that is your dad's. Yeah. So, I know this kitchen needs some serious redoing, but we don't own the house, we're renting. So, there's, we're kind of limited as to what we can do. I would love if we could convince the landlords to take this backsplash tile off. It's like really old. I don't know what era or. Yeah, that is I can't think old. what decade it's from. I almost feel like it maybe is from the 70s or something, 60s, 70s, somewhere in there. Um, and this countertop could really do redoing and, well, basically everything in the house. We have some beautiful, <laughs> very antique lighting in here. I feel like this might be some people's style, but it's not really mine. I like the, I like the more modern farmhouse, like the clean white with a bit of black and gold, you know. She wants to show you the leapfrog books that my parents got them for Christmas. Right this here. One, this one's mine, and it's Dampa and Dama got me, and this one's, this one's more, that's the Dampa and Dama got her. That's right. Is that one yours? And mine has a clock, and it has a clock, and it was, we can't, it's Tano. Tano, we're not Tano. Yeah. And mine has an upside down handle. Mine has a white handle. It's a sideways handle, right? Yep. That's right. If I need to do some more, I, I have to go to the free store at home. Okay, so it is almost 6 o'clock, or is it 6 o'clock by now? Anyways, I am making supper. This is not good lighting. Okay, I am making supper right now, and fingers up. I steamed a bunch of broccoli because we love broccoli in this house, and we love we just we love to eat it steamed. And then I'm just boiling some water to make some macaroni, and then I'll just make a a sauce with cream and a little bit of flour to thicken it, and some salt and pepper. That's all I do for the cream sauce. Well, we love it very much with that cream sauce, and. Uh, so I'm gonna make that now. So if you can see me there, the water is now boiling. I don't I don't measure. You can't see me. I don't measure the macaroni. I just kind of dump in whatever it look whatever looks right. So. And that will be our supper. It's good. So I'm gonna grab the girls' plates and um, get ready to dish them up so they can eat. 
Lena and the girls plates. They each love their colors. Making the cream sauce. Pour some cream into the pot. Add some salt. Some pepper. And some flour. And stir this all up. Now we wait for this to come to a boil. It is now boiling. So we're going to go ahead and shut that burner off. Whoa, okay. Fog you up. And now we're just going to take it off of the heat. And get, get a ladle and just spoon it over the macaroni. I promise you, it is so good. The other plate. There we go. And give them each a spoon. Just kind of stir it into there. Bring Ramona her plate. Where's the Here you go. Where's the tomatoes? Broccoli and macaronis. <laughs> She's calling the macaronis tomatoes. And bring Bella her plate. Macaroni and broccoli? Mm hmm. Hey, buddy. And you look like you're ready to eat too, hey? Yeah. And I'm going to kind of make myself a plate here as well with macaroni and broccoli. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this cook with me session. I don't do these a lot, but it's kind of fun. It's a very simple but pretty nutritional supper. Not the macaroni part, but the broccoli, you know, and they have a fair share of it and we absolutely just love it.
Yeah. I love the pink one and one of the blue one. Okay, well that is it for our vlog today. Gunnar is in the swing. Sleeping. She's reading a book. And Belle and I are going to be ending the vlog. So Bye! Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. See you next time. See you next time.